can't mm. believe I sat down. I sat, I, down. I sat down in the dressing room and I told her uh, lots and lots of things. But the number one was make sure you take wax earplugs because you're going to be in there with <laughs> maniacs, <laughs> ex addicts, <laughs> lunatics. And I don't know what, it was obviously playing on her mind because she said it that great big bit when Emma interviewed her. She was going, earplugs, I didn't bring my earplugs. I, I know, I can't believe it because I said every night in there you're going to pray and you're going to thank me for this bit of mm. advice. The wax earplugs that you can roll and really jam in your ears because that's all I wanted the whole time I was in there because there's the racket all through the night. So what else did you tell her about sort of managing it? Because as we all know, it was a pretty tumultuous experience for you, wasn't it? Yeah. You were so I, brave. You were I, so I, brave, <laughs> So it was the people that you were in there with, wasn't it, really? Yeah. It I mean, I, uh, one of the first things I said to her is, is, is uh, uh, it, it, did Christopher Biggins go in in the yeah. end? Yeah. 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 So I said to her, make friends with Christopher Biggins because he's such an entertaining person. Yeah. You will. He has got 10 million stories. Yeah. He's, 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 yeah. he's, he's sensible. a kind, yeah. decent man. And he's, funny he's a man as well. of an age where he's not going to be told what to do by little pipsqueaks. He's going to he's, he's going to know himself. Yeah. You know, because the most important thing is having a friendship where you can entertain because mm. yeah. otherwise if it's because you do nothing. You do nothing yeah. for 24 hours a day. Would you do it, Martin? Do you know what? I don't think I would. Never say never, but I don't think I would. I think Nadia was so brave to go in there, but you went no, in there... You mean insane. And insane. <laughs> no, but I, I think you were so brave to go in there because, obviously, these shows are filmed in a certain way. As you've said, you don't always get to see everything. You don't know how you're going to be made out to look. And, obviously, our reputation is everything. That's what we ride on. That's our career. That's what we yeah. do. Yeah. And I think, for me, at a time after having my baby and building myself back up, mm. and to go in there, which sometimes it is a circus, let's face yeah. it, you just don't don't know what nutter's going to be Have in there. Have you been asked to go yeah. in there? Yeah, yeah I get yeah, asked yeah. every year and I've sometimes been offered fortunes and sometimes I've needed it. Yeah. But I just, for me, it's not been worth the price. Even the big money, me... you're looking at the potential <laughs> check. I don't yeah, need a no, conservatory, I, I so that. I'm all right. <laughs> How wealthy you are or you're not, money's always lovely, and they do dangle those mm. checks at you. But they chat, they they chat that money at you for a reason. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, it can have a price, and I mean, Nadi, to be honest, and you've spoken about it on the show, we've spoken about it privately. You know, and we've said it before, the Nadia that was often on the telly on the Big Brother House was not the Nadia that we knew, not the Nadia that a lot of people out there thought. And at times, your popularity dipped. You know, were you thinking about that at the well, time? It's funny, Did you think when about it before afterwards? I went in, loads of people said to me, Oh, are you worried about, you know, it could affect. And I said, Do you know what? I'm not worried at all because I know I'm a good person. I know I'm a kind person. I know I'm decent. I know I get on with everybody. I've never had a row to with anyone all the, bullying, at work, all the years that I've been. So mm. I was, and you know, how, how wrong I was, really, because, you know, uh, people, are, I only, they only saw certain bits. And they still And there to were have times that were so, yeah. so hard. I mean, I tried to leave. Many times, it was so funny, I remember at one point going, they said, we haven't got a car. I said, it's all right, I'll give my husband's number, just call him, he'll be here in half an hour. <laughs> and, um, and then they, they, what they do is, you see, they get, this, they get this psychiatrist to come and tell you that actually you're not going mad. <laughs> what? <laughs> and Did then what you should it? really do is just stay. So, yeah, the secret psychiatrist. So. Well, also, if you leave, you don't get paid. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. the you thing. You walk out. Oh I have God. to say, though it was awful, I don't regret it. Now I'm a You don't regret it at all. <laughs> Kitchen. Thank goodness. <laughs> you should. Thank so goodness Sarah can't hear us uh, because she's got enough on her plate just now. Well, it, well she can't. It, she she needs the ear. Well, I'll tell you well, what. I want to break Listen. in. I want to do a da 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 and I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.